speaking with Jason Wu. And Jason is a supply chain project manager and a crypto blockchain entrepreneur. Today's topic is blockchain and its impact on the supply chain. So Jason, my first question is tell about um, more about the, what is blockchain, like how, what are the problems that it solves and some of the, um, the, uh, more, the financial economic aspects of blockchain. Yeah, sure, absolutely. So blockchain is called distributed ledger technology. So the main idea is to use this machine or coding to replace the middleman. So usually between different party, when they exchange value, they assume a not counterpart is cannot be trusted. So you need to bring a third party, which you trust to do all this transaction. So with the blockchain technology, it's going to let people trust the machine because when you agree on something, you write it on the machine and this machine can be trusted. So in this way, you cut out the middleman, uh, people who are happy to handle the transaction. So this is huge because in this way, uh, just like the internet, internet that the information flew, uh, move freely across the internet. So in this blockchain revolution, it help you to move the value freely on the internet. You no longer need a trusted third party to help you like the banks, like the lawyer and the accountant firm. So you cut all this middleman out and in this way you can save the cost, reduce the cost. Also, without the human involved, actually you increase the service level, which means you will have a 24 by seven hour service. Also, the service will never done. And uh, whenever you have the cell phone or computer, you can access this uh, blockchain network. So I will say it's a revolutionary technology has a huge implementation on supply chain try to uh, simplify the supply chain, streamline the supply chain, and uh, have the things move faster and quicker. What about industries where you can see this being used in the supply chain? Have you, do you have any insight on what types of uh, industries would, would be using it initially? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So initially, it will start from financial industry because the financial industry is the business of recording. So think about a bank. Basically, it records uh, the transactions for the account a customer has. But why the banks are so important? Because you need to trust the bank. Everyone trusts the bank. So keep, let the bank keep the book. And in this way, uh, with the blockchain technology, because the capability for now is very low since the day of Bitcoin exists to now totally data they are handling only around 200 gigabyte so the ability of data story and data processing of blockchain is now is very limited but the key issue or key problem the blockchain technology try to solve is the trust issue so I think it's a perfect fit for the financial industry at the beginning so it can keep a very good uh, booking and uh, keep it very integrity. No one control it. No one can alter the data. We call it immutable. And so I, I will say it will start from financial industry, like the value transactions. That's why I think uh, for blockchain and the supply chain, because in supply chain, there are three basic flow. Uh, one is financial flow, which is invoice between each party. So I will say that we'll use for that uh, at the very beginning to change the and improve the efficiency of the supply chain work. Then start start there with the improvement of this technology. It will go deeper and deeper with like the uh, the information level and the physical level. What is blockchain and as applied to supply chain and why is it important? Okay, uh, thank you Dustin for giving me this opportunity of this interview. So for the blockchain is a distributed ledger technology and uh, it solves the trust, pro trust problem between two different parties. So that's why it's so important to supply chain. As you know, for supply chain, there's a lot of value exchange 
be between different parties, from the supplier to the forwarder to the third party logistic warehousing, you know, all etc. There are so many parties within supply chain. That's why you need a, a solution to bring the trust between each other without involve of human. So blockchain technology provide is exactly what the uh, what we need to bridge the trust uh, without involve of third party. In this way, you can speed the supply chain and speak, speed up the supply chain things. As you know, usually like uh, the payment uh, is very slow. I mean, people already get used to like 60 night payment or 90 days night payment. So that's the way people are already used to in supply chain. So, but with all with this black like blockchain technology, it can speed up. So, for example, uh, for supply chain, we talk about three different levels, right? Uh, information flow, financial flow, and physical flow. What I see the blockchain will provide the most valuable and to change this supply chain world is the financial flow. To have to street streamline the financial flow and speed up the invoice reconciliation, all this problem involved with this financial flow. Talk more about where it will be used. So it will be used to in improve the efficiency of invoice and uh, reconciliation and uh, transaction. Also, it will bring more visibility and the traceability to supply chain. It will make the inventory more uh, visible to party on this supply chain and will make people uh, trust each other uh, with the machine, which is built on top of blockchain technology. So I will see in the future, you will uh, see the night payment term. You know, you don't need to wait 90 days when uh, waiting for your customer to pay you back. Because basically, you can use blockchain technology to shorten it to around uh, probably five days, three days or five days. In this way, you increase the efficiency of the capital allocation and the capital movement. Can you go into some more detail on how it will be used? So, yes, I will see in the financial flow, for example, all the payment will handle the through blockchain technology. And this is blockchain technology agreed and uh, used between all the different parties on this supply chain from supplier to the customer. So within this blockchain platform, people can do the transactions, exchange, and do the value monetary exchange between different parties and without involve of any human in, in this process. And they can do the lending and the borrowing, you know, back up by the uh, third party to ensure the payment. So in this way, it will shorten the payment within the supply chain. So I will say that's the, uh, the very key uh, issues the blockchain technology can have to save. Another perspective is uh, bring the visibility and the transparency to the supply chain. And uh, th this will help to go and go against the con counterfeit product. So all the products the day when they produced at day one, it will be tra uh, traceable on the blockchain. So on the blockchain, you record all the transactions happen to this part of materials. And uh, in this way, you can fight against the counterfeit. So that's another application. And uh, thanks, Jason. Can you also provide a brief background of yourself? Yeah, sure. So I'm a project manager for new product development based for Cummins and for the past uh, two years. So I understand uh, what's the most important things to improve the supply chain efficiency and how to implement uh, 
successful supply chain strategy to make your supply chain more effective and more manageable. Also, I'm a founder for my uh, blockchain startup called Definer to provide the financial solution based on the blockchain technology. So this is the solution we try to bring to the team and uh, to, to the uh, supply chain entrepreneur world because uh, we are working together with another blockchain provider, try to build this ecosystem and provide the, the solution to the companies. 